Welcome back. We're getting our monthly update on the Marquette Chamber of Commerce I'm with Jason Schneider, the Executive Director. Thanks for being here this morning. Absolutely. Thanks for having us. So now the Chamber is two years old. So yep. just give us an update on, on where things stand sure. going into year three. Sure, yeah. As of March 1st, we just turned two years old. We just had a, a big meeting with our Board of Directors this last weekend to kind of discuss where we're at and where we're going. Um, for year three, we're probably looking at doubling in size again. You know, we've been growing an average of about five members a month, which has been great. And it's been a slow build as far as the, the programming that we can build, because we've been an office of one, one and a half people. And in the next few months, you're going to see Marquette365.com launch. And that's a community master calendar that is a single database that holds everything from the church groups to the school systems to NMU sports to any band that you would want to see at the bar, which is going to be a resource really badly needed. Um, then we've got our Be Local, Buy Local program launching this summer, which is going to be a revamp of the one that we ran during the holiday season. Um, and then we're, we're starting to explore around with the new office, kind of a, a business center that really can work for the entire community. Yeah, what would be the, the business center? What were some of the qualities of that? So the business center, we're looking at a space that can fit about 55 people. There's two conference rooms, a presentation space, and private rentable offices, cubicles that can be rented, and then just kind of a general come-as-you-are work center for people to be able to come in, check in, get their work done. Um, you know, not to take business away from the coffee shops, but it kind of helps out with the coffee shop shuffle that a lot of these independent contractors are bouncing around between. Yeah, something, a space you obviously feel is needed at Marquette. Yeah, you know, the, the economy in general in our country is moving more and more towards independent contractors. A lot of people are bouncing two or three jobs. Oftentimes it's sitting at their computer regardless of who they work for. And so we're trying to feel, feel out how do we support them within our economy as well as the traditional business model. So going back to year two, uh, be local, buy local, one of the big highlights, what, what else sticks out from year two? Oh, year two, our, you know, really we, f so we started our first social programming. So year one was just building with early adopters. You know, when you start a brand new chamber of commerce, people wonder, what is this? Is it really right for me? Um, you know, we built up to about 65 members then. And then year two was really focused on, let's start getting people together. So we held six socials throughout the year. Um, you know, after kind of an after hour sort of event. And then we also started morning breakfasts every single week with chamber members to start getting them to know each other. Because really when you're building a system of hundreds of businesses and how they work together, it's so much of building the relationships between people. And so, you know, this last year, 2016, was really focused on building the relationships between members so that they all feel ownership of the organization. All right, Jason, one more question. What's the best way for people to stay in touch with what's happening? Sure. The easiest way to find us is go to marquettechamber.org, and you can find our, our phone number, our email, and our address there, marquettechamber.org. All right, Jason, thank you for being here. We'll keep everyone up to date as the year continues, year three for the Chamber. Absolutely. So. Thank you.